YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at some of the smaller details from Wave 2 of the Summer Update that you need to know. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you know the second wave of the Summer Update just released today or last night depending on where you are in the world right now and it of course added even more new content to New Horizons. Most notably Luna and the Dream Suite which allows us to visit dream versions of other islands and of course the fireworks festival that we'll see every Sunday throughout the month of August. Of course these are the most obvious of the new features added but as always there are plenty of smaller features and details that we're not told about until someone accidentally discovers them. So here are 5 details you need to know. Number 1. Camera as you know the camera app on the Nook phone allows us to position the camera and set up the perfect scene for a screenshot. It contains a number of features including filters and fairly modest camera controls to get the perfect angle. But thanks to wave 2 of the latest summer update a brand new feature has just been added to the camera. But first you may remember a while back hearing about a camera glitch that allowed users to remove all on screen displays and buttons using a small exploit. And this was super useful for capturing unique gameplay and screenshots without the interface getting in the way. Unfortunately it was patched by Nintendo as quickly as it was discovered. However since the latest version 1.4 of Animal Crossing New Horizons and wave 2 of the summer update the glitch is back but as an official feature of the camera. So now thanks to this new feature you can set up the perfect shot and simply remove the on screen interface by pressing the right analog stick. It's pretty cool and just goes to show Nintendo and the Animal Crossing team does listen to community feedback. Number 2 Dream Outfits as you know one of the biggest additions to New Horizons in today's update is Luna and the Dream Suite. Unfortunately you may run into some issues using it when it comes to your outfits and using your wand. To enter the dream world and either upload a dream of your own island or visit someone else's you need to lay down on your bed. However it turns out just like many other features in the game such as the changing room at the Able Sisters you can't actually enter the Dream Suite whilst in a wand outfit. When you try it reads you look very cool but you'll have to undo your transformation before drifting off to sleep and stops you entering the dream suite. This of course means you'll need to select your default outfit carefully before meeting Luna and uploading your dream island because this is how your character will appear when people visit. But what do you think is this something that bothers you or do you not use your wand anyway? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Number 3 Tripping Yes you heard that correctly, tripping which by this point is a nostalgic mechanic from New Leaf has found its way into New Horizons. Thanks to wave 2 of the summer update if you run around using certain equipment or headgear it seems your character can randomly trip and fall over, it's pretty funny. Of course back in New Leaf this was part of the bad luck mechanic that only Katrina could cure where if you're having a bad day you would keep falling over. The good news is the bad luck side of things doesn't seem to have returned, only the tripping. To experience this you need to be running around with the King Tut mask and you'll soon find out tripping every few seconds is funny at first but soon gets really annoying. Of course this is just meant for fun and serves no real purpose but it's still pretty cool to see small details like this make a comeback. Another way to experience this tripping is if you're running while holding a balloon. Thanks to this gameplay from Animal Crossing World it seems if you're not concentrating or running around too fast not only do you trip and fall but you'll also lose your balloon. Very sad times indeed. Number 4 Tommy's Flag Of course wave 2 of the summer update isn't all about adding big new features but also about adding tiny new details. One in particular is a brand new item that is now available at the Nook Stop. If you head to resident services or use the app on your Nook phone and scroll down to the Nook Inc themed furniture and clothing items in the Nook Stop you'll see an all new Nook Inc handheld pennant flag. This flag costs 500 Nook miles and you may recognize it. This flag is actually the flag Tommy was holding in the first few days of New Horizons when he was wandering around a rather deserted island. This is an adorable little item and of course is interactive so you can wave it around which is super cute. I'm not sure why it hasn't been added until now but it's pretty cool to see it return. Number 5 Patterns 
As you know, a large part of Animal Crossing is the customization aspect and the ability to create custom patterns and designs. The designs we choose to make and use are even more important now that they're shared with the world through our dreams. But if like me, you prefer to use patterns from all the very talented and creative players out there rather than your own, you can of course use the design portal to find specific designers or patterns using IDs people have shared. Now, thanks to wave two of the summer update, the design portal has introduced two new features that include being able to search for patterns and designs using keywords and favoriting those particular artists. For example, if we click on the criteria search, we can simply search dirt and it brings up a bunch of dirt patterns we can now use for paths. Similarly, if you want grass patterns, we can search grass and see all kinds of unique patterns from classic triangle grass to the awesome little flowery designs people have made. It's pretty cool. This means we no longer need to know the IDs of creators and instead can find designs that we're looking for for our islands. It's a great feature. Don't worry though, search results are only from designs that people have already uploaded, so your custom designs won't appear unless you've already made them available with an ID. So there we have it, that was five smaller details you may have missed that were added to New Horizons in wave two of the summer update. But what do you think? Are you happy to see the tripping mechanic return? Does the wand restriction for the dream suite annoy you? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment patterns just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include whether or not you're enjoying the new update I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.